Robert Findlay's 19th century ironwork still adorned some Macon homes, but his descendants had trouble locating his unmarked grave at Rose Hill Cemetery. What do you do when a family comes to you looking for their members? Well, we have lots and lots of old records here that we uh, that are available to us. So we really start out with our oldest record, which is this very old map here from probably about the 18. 50s or 60s, we start there if we can't find anything in the written information. And we also, to complicate matters, we have about a 26 year period in which we don't have any records. Okay. There on this 1800s map was the Finley plot near the Okmulgee River. Just this summer, his descendants marked the grave. I think it's a tribute to the Finley family <laughs> who have been in uh, Macon for 170 years. And my brother, Doc, Dr. Prentice Finley, is the last one living in Macon. And we're very proud of the uh, heritage of our family. Well, Robert came over from Edinburgh, Scotland, first went to Philadelphia and then migrated on down to Macon. He was with the Baldwin Locomotive Company. And while in Macon, he started the Finley Foundry and made steam engines and industrial uh, products and uh, agricultural products. It was Robert died when he was in 1859, but later during the war, the Confederates took over the foundry and made Napoleon-type cannons. Robert's son, Christopher, managed the foundry. Christopher's house is on Ash Street and is now the Bessie Tiff Alumni House, right down from Mercer. And we're very proud of that heritage. The South was uh, in very poor economic situations and the foundry, foundry finally went bankrupt. Mm. It was in the site of the old state farmer's market. What's it like now knowing that you can pinpoint exactly where your ancestors are? Well, going back, I think it, it's a real tribute to my great-great-grandfather, Robert. My brother and I and Delma and Gail Finley all participated in this, and I think it's a tribute to the Finley family. How does it feel to know that you can reunite a family? Oh, it's fun, and I'm a, a person of history. I love history, so that's always very exciting. 